This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. A nice visit, partner. Good to see you. Are you having fun with that? Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's Traveling Junk Store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Thanks. See you out on the road, huh? Need some grub? Try the brass lantern. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff. And Mayor, too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now... Is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, 
They worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Don't blow us up now. You're looking to trade, stranger? Check out Craterside Supply. He is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Ah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me, and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes was a real bastard back then, but I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. You know? I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah. It ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. Since in ruining the good ones, you know? None of your fucking business. You're from the outside, and I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the wasteland. You seem all right, though, so I'll cut you a deal. I'll answer your questions so long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it? I've said just about all I'm gonna say about that. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> a little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Whoa. Twenty caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it, if you can. My Robin days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. You'll probably blow your head off, 
That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. Anytime, it'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. Come back if you need something. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come... Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Have a good one, stranger. Come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land Attend now to the words of the Junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy I really News. Their signal's been shit into there. lately. Why won't you work? Wait, is that... Damn it. Work. Come on, work. Goddamn radio. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Just Son give it of a up, bitch. Bob. I'm not going to get him. A traveler, eh? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. 
I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. You want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Welcome to Moriarty's saloon. Looking sweet. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Rest will cost ya. Looking's free. Rest will cost ya.